I'm going to be honest with you, my boy, but I do secretly judge students on pet choice. I mean, really, do you think you would have gotten the special attention you got if you were a rat kid? I didn't think so. And the frogs. That's not a pet. That's a potions ingredient. I mean, who in their right mind would pick a rat over an owl? Maybe they didn't get hugged as a child. Who knows? Rat kids, Merlin's beard. Between you and me, if I could make a house just for rat kids, I would. House custodius. No, 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 that broom's not for riding, that's for sweeping. You're going to stand on your own two feet and sweep like the rat kid you are. Yeah, and here's a wand for you. No, it doesn't have a feather on the inside, it's on the outside, for cleaning. See, Harry, what does it tell you that filth, or filch, whatever his name is, doesn't even have a pet rat? As unfortunate as that medical and magical mystery is, even he has the good sense to not have a rat. But it does help on the taxes that we employ the magically handicapped. Anyways, I've gotten off subject. House Custodius would be more like a trade school within Hogwarts. Lord knows I've tried it with Hufflepuff. Oh, forget I said that, but it's true. Have you ever tried to teach a Hufflepuff to turn a wrench? It's just like a wand, except metal. An old man like me can only repeat lefty-loosey, righty-tighty so many times till even I have to throw in the towel. There's the magically gifted, and then there's Hufflepuff. Anyways, back to House Custodius. Have you ever been in the Navy, Harry? Well, neither have I, but I heard it's a lot of cleaning. And this castle could use it. I walked into a cobweb last week that was seven feet wide. It took me three days to wriggle out of it. Spider the size of a charcoal grill and just as black. Where was I? House custodius. You know your best friend Harry is a rat kid. And you're dating his sister. Stones throw away, my boy. Stones throw away. <laughs>